Hi everyone, it's me again, Emuoi Black Swan, and I'm back again with another video. And this is gonna be a new wig try on as well as a get ready with me. So this is like from start to finish from me unboxing it and me prepping the wig all the way to me installing it and putting on the makeup. So the wig cuff I'm working with today is XRS Beauty Hair Corporation. And if you get the hair right now, you can use the discount code MUA10 for 10% off all products and or you can use, not and or, or you can use MUA20 for all products and then you get like 20% off. So they have a really good deal going on right now. The wig that they sent me is a Kiki Straight. It's 18 inches and it's a 13 by 6 HD front lace and it's 200% density like really like <laughs> they weren't playing when they when they sent me this wig so as soon as I took it out the box I really got excited because I, it's I mean you can't see it on my face right now but like I knew its potential I knew it was gonna be like super cute so yeah here how this is how it looks up close and then I'm gonna show you um how the lace looks like the difference between the regular lace and the regular clips that they usually have and then the upgrade that they made like the hd lace and why it's it's a small adjustment but it makes a huge huge deal when it when you're trying to make your wig um convincing especially when it's a natural a natural um hair texture like this because this hair like mimics my hair when it's like blowed out because I have natural hair so like if you like put a blow dryer to it yeah that's how it looks like okay so for the lace on the left hand side that is the regular lace and then on the right side is the HD lace if you look really closely the HD melts right into the skin you cannot tell that I have lace on my hand. Um, so when you want like a seamless application, that's kind of, that's, I mean, that's what, that's what you need to get, you know? So that's how it looks with water put on there. Cause I, um, I first want to try it out with water and then I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to do it with got to be spray. So y'all could see how it looks if, you know, if you actually have it, um, adhere to your skin. Okay, so now that I dried both of the pieces off, the HD now is on the right side of the screen and the regular lace is on the left hand side of the screen. When it's dried up, you can see the difference. You see how the HD lace, it matches my skin color and um, the regular lace, you know, it has more of a lighter tint to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some gossipy spray on there just so y'all can see um y'all can have a little bit better of a reference on you know like what's the difference between the laces and you know you can decide if you know if it's worth it or not me personally i feel like if you're gonna be wearing a wig what's the point of you wearing it if it don't look good you know like if people are clocking it then like girl what what, what are we doing like what are we doing Okay, and once more, the HD is on the right side of the screen and the regular lace, um, well, the, the other lace is on the left-hand side of the screen. So, like I said before, the wig that I have is HD lace and that's a close-up of it. So, I hope I'm giving y'all a, a good example of the difference between the laces and how it can actually, you know, improve the look of your wig. Okay, so um, in my videos, I don't think I've ever really done this for you guys, but this is what I do when I first get the wig. If I don't do a full wash, I'll do a cold wash. So basically, I put it in really hot water and I saturate the wig. I get it up nice and wet and set it out. 
Then I use um, this is my favorite conditioner, the Aussie Miracle. So I'll take the conditioner and I will put that all through the hair. And um, I'll use that on any hair that has any type of texture. If it's like curly, um, if it's a kinky curl, if it's a deep wave, if it's a velouse wave, I'll use this. And if it's a bone straight wig, um, then I'll use, what do I use? I'll use a suave Moroccan uh, conditioner to put in there. Um, this one is just a little more creamier. They're both pretty creamy. They're both pretty creamy. But I don't know. I just like the way the Aussie performs on texture hair a little more than the suave. So I do that. I get them at their Dollar General, you know? So it's affordable. And then I just get like the biggest thing of it. So I'll go ahead and make sure that I finger it through the whole hair. And then I make sure I rinse it through thoroughly. So yeah, sometimes I'll dip it in a bucket. If I feel real lazy, I'll just get a little bucket and just throw it in there. And then I'll let it sit. And then I'll just come back like probably like 30 minutes later and then rinse it out. Uh, or I'll just dump the bucket out, put clean water in it, and then just let the hair sit in it. And just let it rinse out like that. It just depends how lazy I feel. But I'll do that. But I really want to put the wig on immediately. Immediately as soon as I got it. So yeah, just, you know, be nice with the wig. As you can see. As I'm washing it, running my fingers through it, I don't have any hair shedding, so that's a really good sign. So, so far, so good. Okay, so now I'm just going to let it sit out and dry on a towel. And my daughter is actually starting to cry right now, so I'm actually just going to let it sit out for a little bit, and then I'll probably take a blow dryer to it to let it finish, um trying out but I want to comb it through and show y'all how much hair comes off of the wig so y'all can get an idea of if I had any like um shedding and stuff like that so I'm going to try to do this kind of tutorial more so y'all can get like a realistic idea of the type of wigs that I get in the mail um yeah but yeah I just put on a towel and like I didn't put no product in it or anything but got a big two comb and then combed it, combed it out. Okay, so I can already tell this wig is going to be bomb. So I'm going to do a wig cap method. And what I usually do all the time is I'll take a stocking cap and I'll take Gots to be spray and I'll do one layer and I'll let it dry completely and I'll go back and do another layer and then let that dry completely then I'll cut the lace I try to do like a scatter a uh, jagged hairline as much as I can because you know your hairline's not straight or you're gonna be looking like um lady uh what's her name off of Bridgerton um uh, <laughs> lady lady Dan Danbury girl her wig was like looked like a helmet so I don't wanna I don't wanna have that kind of wig. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do something a little jagged, and then when I put the wig on, I can like see if it matches with the hairline of the wig, and then I'm gonna glue it on. Another thing I do before I put the wig on is I will run a hot comb on the perimeter of the wig. So excuse me, y'all. Like I'm trying to get it in frame so basically I took a, a wax stick and I put it all around the perimeter now I'm taking my hot comb just to straighten that part out I need to make sure all that hair all the flyaways are out of the way and I can get it distinct like I, girl who words I'm trying to make sure that like the hairline it's very pronounced like I can see it it's not gonna get in the way while I'm installing the wig I need like a clean application so, and then also you know like it gives it a little shape around the hairline when I want to comb through it as you can see it straightens out really really nice around the hairline 
and I did not I, as you can see I didn't do any bleaching or plucking to the wig so the wig is actually a ready to wear as soon as you can take it out the box and you know you can run some water through it it's ready to plop on it's ready to install like immediately out of the box Okay, remember when I said I like to put the wig on and like um, compare it to the wig cap? This is what I mean. Before I do any type of semi-permanent gluing installation, I like to make sure that I have the wig cap cut far back enough so I don't, you know, it's not showing through the, the lace, especially the HD lace, because this HD lace is, you know, like, it's transparent, it's the same color as my skin, so you will definitely see a wig cap. Okay, so now that I have that, like, all squared away, I'm going to put the foundation on the wig cap. Now, if I'm going from install and I'm leaving, like I'm about to do my makeup, I'll go ahead and put the foundation on my, on my head. Like, I'm going to put it... <laughs> I'm going to put it on the wig, and I'm going to put it on my forehead. Y'all see how big my forehead is? Ooh. Every time I do these videos, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I know y'all don't ever care. Like, y'all are, like, y'all are, like, so cool. Y'all never, ever, like, roast me. I'll be looking at myself. I'm like, how are y'all cool with me? Like, <laughs> I be wondering how y'all even like me. So, anyway, um, I digress. So I just go ahead and put like, you know, some of the foundation on anyway, uh, two birds with one stone. And then also, you know, I'm making sure like really does match. So, you know, I don't have like, um, you know, sometimes when you put the wig on first and then the makeup, you have like a little demarcation in between the makeup and the wig. So, you know, I don't, I don't get none of that. So now I'm going to add the Gossipy glue. And I'm going to be pretty generous. I do plan on wearing this for like a few days. Because um, I just already can tell like, you know, it's, it's going to be one of the wigs. Now, I, you can use a popsicle stick for this part or the end of a rat tail comb. Uh, to be honest, uh, for quicker drying, it's better to put it on with your finger it's way more messier though so you know if you don't mind the mess when you put it on with your finger it does go on way more evenly um so you know i don't know we, we can't have it all right so whatever i just went and put it on my finger because like i had a wet rag right there so i was able to dry my hands off and um before i moved on to the next step so now that the glue is dried down, now I can place the wig on my head. Look how gorgeous and how flawless it looks. Like, it's just, it looks like I got somebody to custom me a wig. Like, it's amazing. Like, they did such a good job. I'm still so impressed at it. I'm really really impressed at how they how they did this lace so yeah I just put it on it's this wig is is making me look really good I promise you I'm not no expert wig installer this lace really is doing all the work for me I just made sure that I put enough glue to to keep it held down right now I'm cutting the ears because I didn't cut the ears out on the side so I'm just literally going with the the shape of the wig because this wig actually fits my head well there's it's a little loose in the back just a little bit but it's not as bad as some of my other wigs because 
I got a big forehead, but the back of my head is small, so I always have like um, extra wig in the back. Now all I have to do is just put my hair up and then uh, tie something around the perimeter. And I'm going to let it sit there as I'm doing my makeup. So about 30 minutes, about 30 minutes or so, sometimes longer. Just like to make sure my edges are laid down and I don't have to worry about them no more. My wig ain't going to move. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead. I'm, so, 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 whew, words. I'm going to go ahead and take a hot comb and then just go pass it through the front part of the wig again just so I can make sure it's all laying down and I'm training my part and I want y'all to see the wave pattern in this front part it's super convincing it looks just like my freaking hair it's creepy it's low-key really really creepy how close they got to like real 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 um, natural textured hair and how it looks with either a light relaxer and or a blowout like yeah so and then the lace um, looks really convincing it looks like my scalp yeah at this part at this, at this point it's my scalp I don't care what y'all say that's my scalp okay so this is exactly how I do my makeup for an everyday look so I'm just taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pomade and I'm filling in my eyebrows and I have done this look I feel like I've done it a few times on this channel um I am going with a lighter concealer because I want my eyebrows to be harsh honey I want them to pop so the, the eyebrow color is black you know actually it's granite but it looks really black and then I'm using a really light concealer. I know a lot of y'all don't like that. But do you, boo. If you like your makeup to look a certain way, then whatever. Just do what you like. Like, if you want to listen to me, listen to me. But seriously, if you want to do your makeup any type of way you want to, do it the way you prefer, honey. It's your face. Live your life. So, after I do that, I'm going to take a foundation brush. Go ahead Put the foundation on i am using the morphe fluidity foundation and then for the concealer uh around my eyes and my t-zones i'm using the anastasia beverly hills cream sticks cream contour sticks and i think one of them is like in the color banana uh, was honey so i mixed both of them i don't know if i was able to catch them on camera or not but you know it gives me a nice little dewy look or whatever and oh yeah, the the concealer that I use for my eyebrows is the e.l.f. Camo 16 Hour Water Concealer. So I did that. Now I'm setting it with my Too Faced setting powder. It's not my favorite powder, y'all. Like it's really not, but it gets the job done, especially if I'm too lazy to run around the house and look for my soccer powder. So now I'm just adding on some bronzer for my contour and uh yeah like when i use my brushes it just goes by so much faster so so much faster and it gives me um a more natural looking application so i love my real technique brushes real technique real technique real technique so um the brushes that i use from real techniques for my face they're gonna be the dense face brushes some of them say contour some of them say blush I don't care what they say if it's dense and um, it says real techniques I'm gonna use it for liquid foundation on my face so yeah now these are lashes that the company sent me so I can't really tell you where to get them because you know I got them I, it, it came as like a complimentary item um, and they just so happen to be right up my alley. So it worked out really good. So I like to just, you know, throw in some cute little lashes and then keep it moving. The bronzer or contour powder, however you like to um, address it as, it is the cheap C, I think it's called Kai, C A I, um, bronzer that I got from. Uh, 
you Walgreens I got it at Walgreens so I got that and or the Anastasia Bra uh, Beverly Hills bronzing powder and mahogany I'll go between those two those two work really really good um yeah what I like to do for my nose contour I saw Nikki tutorials doing it and actually does work you just put the contour powder cover your nose completely and then just put the the setting powder on the edges of your nose on the like the sides of your nose add some setting spray and then when that dries up knock the setting spray off and you have a perfect nose contour it's just so much easier you don't have to like be all precise and do all that extra stuff just like throw some powder on and then just put the setting powder on the sides and then boom contour okay so for the final touches um i'm gonna add this wet and wild highlight and super cute get your highlight from wet and wild save some coins any i actually have i think i have almost all their colors all of them work just as equally as good so i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna tell you which one just get them all girl get them all go ahead and spend four dollars a piece okay splurge a little bit live a little so uh oh yeah the lip color the lip color is um the lip the lip pencil is kkw and the the lip gloss is from i heart revolution and it's in honeycomb they don't i don't ha they don't ever have it at my local ulta i always have to go online and order it off of the ulta website and or i heart revolutions website it's six dollars a piece unless you catch it on sale and it looks really pretty and it works on all skin tones so if you like kylie's like lip kit or anything anything that's like a really nice flesh color get the go go on there and go on i heart revolution and look at their lip glosses look at all their lipsticks they have amazing nude colors for a really really good price and also it smells good like some of them actually have a scent so yeah i feel like i'm rambling but i don't want y'all to not know about like the best deals that i found and or really good products that i have so um for the rest of the video i'm just gonna like play with the wig and see what kind of hairstyles i can conjure up with it um so far i'm gonna give this wig a rating a eight out of ten um i'm gonna go ahead and say an eight because and not like a full ten because it wasn't a full lace i'm just going off my personal preference okay it wasn't a full lace i wish this was like a full lace wig and um it would be like perfect and then um also uh on the edges i wish it was it was plucked just a little further back than they did that's just that's just honestly my preference but it it really really is pretty like i've worn this out because this is this i'm filming this the first day that i got it but it's actually i'm forced recording this like probably like three days after i recorded the video so i've been wearing it every day since i recorded it and i've got so many compliments on my hair um people think it's mine girl people have been thinking it's mine right? like maybe she's born with it maybe it's um xrs so um it goes it's easy to style for the density that they gave me it actually was easier to style than i thought i felt like because it was 200 percent, i was just gonna have like it was just going to be a big headache to like try to do any type of styles with it but it, i mean like it wasn't an issue i didn't get a whole bunch of like matting or tangling or anything like that still right now it hasn't matted up at all so um yeah this is let me see i wore it for three days and i took it off tonight because i need to wash my hair okay so but like the wig didn't mat up um on the on today i actually got just a little bit of shedding it wasn't a whole bunch it's got a little bit especially because i haven't really been sleeping with her properly i haven't been putting on my bonnet i haven't been double bonnet in it i usually have to double bonnet um 
everything like my head because I sleep really rough. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let y'all see some of the styles I came up with. I highly recommend this wig, especially if you want to change up the look of your wig. If you want to go a little more natural looking. I feel like that's more in the natural look. But you may not want to have your natural hair out, girl. You may want to still protect it because, honey, this weather is murder to natural hair sometimes. Especially, I me mean, living in Texas, it gets humid, cold, then hot. So, it's real hard on my hair. So, these wigs like this, like, it comes in handy. So, yeah, I have all the information down below in the description box. Thank y'all guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.